We have theater, we have uh, music, we have dance, we have poetry, uh, and also exhibitions. So it gets used, for, and it gets used by the community also for community events, uh, parties, weddings, uh, uh, conferences, uh, political, uh, um, health issues, whatever. Yeah. We've, we've been here since 1970, and as part of our tenure in this community, we've been able to develop the Museo de Barrio, or help develop the Museo de Barrio. Mm -hmm. And we helped develop the Hexia building, which is the Boys Harbor building, which is now uh, a whole multicultural, uh, multi-arts educational complex, uh, which houses the Museo de Barrio, Boys Harbor, uh, Raices music uh, uh, program yeah. and other organizations. Then from there we uh, we established developing two buildings for artist residencies and artist studios, and then from that we came to develop uh, the Julio de Burgos Cultural Center. This was about 15 years ago or more right now, right? Bef mm -hmm. Before that it was about five years in negotiations, uh, meetings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, the building was an eyesore there, and the whole block was an eyesore. This was uh, abandoned, broken windows and all that. We had the seed money to start creating this as a cultural center. And uh, from there on, it was developed. It took a while, and then we moved in, and everybody moved in. The artists come into the community. It happens throughout New York City, and and uh, and they develop the spaces, and they bring the quality of life issue back into the community by creating positive, um, po positive um, activities like workshops, uh, cultural, educational things like that. And then uh, the community starts to pull itself by its own uh, bootstraps. You're not going to see something like this at the Met. And these young artists that are coming up, you're not going to see their work. You know what I mean? You're not going to see this flag with the coqui up there that this guy did and why he did that. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to see that. You're going to come here and see stuff like that, and you're going to have a conversation with the artist on why he did it like that and how he feels about it. And then other kids, other young people, or even older people, are going to open their heads, and they're going to say, oh, gee, you know, I feel the same way or, or whatever. So they're going to have a connection. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that's because Marcos and Christina gave them the opportunity. Yeah, so there's a whole series of, of issues that we've uh, managed to... Uh, to address throughout all these exhibitions, not only this one, but all the exhibitions, address an issue that is relevant to, to the community, to the, to the education of the community, to the young people, to the old people. Um, so so we, have, we have that variety of services that we provide that no one else can provide. Uh, EDC came in and informed us that they wanted to convert uh, the room, multicultural space that we uh, rent from EDC, uh, together with the theater, which is upstairs, and combine them into one space and to have someone um, manage those two spaces. Uh, someone who would create income. Uh, their, their idea was that the city wasn't, wasn't uh, making enough money from these spaces, and uh, uh, so, um, so, so, so that, that's basically what's happened. Uh, ever since then, we've, we've met the requirements of this building. At the onset, it was supposed to be under the Department of Cultural Affairs, since it's a cultural organization, a cultural group. And uh, we become a renter, basically. So the cultural center, in a sense, 
you know, cultural center in name, but it's not really a cultural center because everyone here basically rents space from the city to do their own programs. So there's not one specific cultural, uh, cultural agenda. Each organization has their own personal, you know, their own individual uh, programs. We are a, basically a visual arts organization um, uh, providing exhibitions primarily, but we also have the, multi the multicultural spaces was being questioned. Our inability to program past a certain amount of months, you know, so we're, we're basically like programming from month to month in a way, or every three months or so. So uh, for exhibitions or activities that we want to have like six months down, down the road, uh, they become haphazard. You know, it could become something that it's not, it's not feasible. It might not be feasible, you know? So we expressed that to EDC, and EDC, uh, and we asked them to give us, uh, give us a timeline, and they won't give us a timeline. And then eventually, they'll give it to someone who in, in their eyes is going to be able to generate funds for the city. Mm -hmm. They're not interested in culture. They're not interested in the arts. Two years they're going to be moved out. The city's going to take the building back. They're going to, the gentrification is already in our doorsteps. You know, it's like, it's like a wave, you know? And uh, this building in the long run is a gem. You know what I mean? When nobody wanted it, and we developed it as a cultural center, it was years ago, but now the community has changed. Um, you know, right across the street, there were three empty lots. Now it's a beautiful building, you know, which no one can afford here right now, you know? And the same thing is happening all throughout the community and all the communities in New York City. You know, it happened in the Lower East Side, Happening in the West, it's happening in West Harlem, mm -hmm. and it's happening in East Harlem. So, you know, so the whole thing is like a smoke stream, and little by little, they're gonna take the building back. As a community, you come in and you, you preserve certain things, uh, because by preserving those things, which is part of the history, it's part of the history, it's part of all of that. But you cannot make it uh, bland, you know, like the, it won't have any spirit. You understand what I'm saying? It will be just like a, a something in there and what, you know, it's, it's, it has no, 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 no tiene amor, no tiene all the other things that, that, that you know, and, and, and it's not like it's gonna disappear, you know, I, I know I'm gonna die one day, you're gonna die one day, and somebody else is gonna come, but the essence, of certain things is still gonna be around, you know what I mean? And that's what we need to preserve at the same time that we preserve and we welcome new communities to come in and making new things. So you gotta somehow weave it in. You know, it's culturally great. People that come from other countries, you know what I mean? They, that, they, oh, that's the flavor of, of us being Americans.